According to CMMK Stalin, the manifesto committee was headed by Sister Kanimoi, who went through the state to gather and discuss the issues of the people, and finally the DMK manifesto was drafted. In fact, during the launch of the 64-page manifesto, Stalin also attacked the BJP, urging people to stand with the India bloc. Stalin claimed statehood for Pondicherry and also sought an amendment in the constitution to give the state an autonomy. Amid the myriad of promises, the DMK manifesto also included the scrapping of CAA, UCC, NEET and also the fact that Tamil would be announced as the official language in government offices. In fact, Stalin also promised the appointment of good governors who would help the state grow. Now, DMK's announcement came after the now former governor of Tamil Nadu, Tamil Sai Soundarajan, has rejoined the BJP out of the Lok Sabha polls. And this means that the buzz around a rerun of 2019's Tamil Sai versus Kanimoi may well be a reality with the DMK fielding Kanimoi from the Tutukodi constituency. Darini continues to say on the broadcast with us. Uh, Darini, help us understand the key highlights of one, the manifesto and also the candidate list that has been released by the DMK. Well, as far as the manifesto is concerned, it is telling that uh, the NEET examination will be scrapped, national education policy will be withdrawn. Uh, the concept of one nation, one election will not be implemented. Uh, the Citizenship Amendment Act will not be implemented and uh, Uniform Civil Code will also not be implemented. And Article 361 will be uh, removed, uh, which means that uh, there is no shield for governors from uh, criminal action. Right now, Article 361 of the Indian Constitution uh, prevents any kind of uh, criminal action against governors. Uh, so this a particular article 361 will be removed uh, from the constitution is what uh, uh, the uh, manifesto says it also goes on to tell that uh, the prices of lpg cylinders uh, will be brought down to rupees 500 a uh, petrol will be brought down to rupees 75 and diesel will be brought down to rupees 65 these are uh, the key uh, poll uh, promises uh, that are being made by the gmk and as far as the candidates list uh, is concerned uh, of course uh, the gmk has introduced a lot of uh, new faces but uh, talking about uh, the uh, uh, key faces of the gmk uh, kanimuli karunanithi is once again contesting from tutukorin a raja uh, you know known uh, for the infamous uh, 2g scam uh, you know controversy he is contesting from the nilgiris so apart from that, uh, uh, Kalanadi Viraswamy is contesting from North Chennai, Tamilachi Tangapandian from uh, uh, South Chennai and Dayanati Maran from Central Chennai. And of course, uh, we are going to uh, see uh, uh, Minister K. N. Nehru's son, Arun Nehru, uh, contesting for the first time from the Perambalur uh, Parliamentary Constituency. He is going to be a new uh, face uh, in the GMK's list. So definitely, it's a, a fulfilling list as far as the political analysts are concerned. But on the other hand, uh, the ADMK has also released its uh, first uh, phase of a candidate, uh, you know, uh, uh, candidate names that which contains you know which contains 16 names uh, the second phase of uh, the names will be released uh, tomorrow by a uh, party general secretary adapati palnisami so uh, both dmk and the admk they are uh, you know uh, setting themselves up uh, you know for the uh, lok sabha elections uh, they are you know uh, continuously in the last two days they've been uh, preparing themselves very uh, you know uh, very fastly and as far as bjp is concerned uh, 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 the uh, answer to the question on when the BJP's uh, Tamil Nadu list will be out is something that uh, nobody knows. It still, it still remains a mystery. But uh, Tamil Nadu BJP chief Annamalai uh, will be flying down to uh, Delhi tomorrow uh, to hold a discussion with the National BJP High Command. Right, Adani, do 